In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a VU meter that will turn an audio signal into a visible light array, which looks pretty awesome in your room. So, the first question is, what is a VU meter? VU stands for volume units. A VU meter represents the amplitude of a specific signal on a display, for example, on an analog voltage meter or an array of LEDs. People who have made VU meters before are probably familiar with the LM3915, but the LM3915 can only supply power to 10 LEDs, and I want to make an array of 25 LEDs. Plus, I always love to make circuits that use as less ICs as possible. So I'm gonna show you how to make a VU meter without any help of an IC. You need to start with this very simple circuit. This is kind of a buffer for the audio signal. The small 100 nanofarad capacitor will make sure that the LEDs will not instantly drop down to the lower ones, so that you can create that bouncing effect of a kick or something similar. The second circuit is also a quite simple, but it's the circuit that needs to be made 25 times, depending on the amount of LEDs you want to make your VU meter with. This is the point where all the small circuits can be hooked up together in the series, which can then be connected to the audio in of the next circuit. I've tested this on a breadboard and it turned out to work very well, but only with 15 LEDs, because more didn't fit on the breadboard. So I started measuring and decided to mount each LED 5 cm apart from one another on a wooden strip. Then I drilled each hole with a 2mm drill bit and then with a 5mm drill bit to make the holes a little bigger. I gave the wooden strip a quick paint job before all the LEDs will be mounted into place. I bend each anode lead of each LED to a 90 degree angle so that I can solder them easier together. The anode from the LED is the longer one by the way. When the paint is dried, flip the strip over and press each LED firmly into place. Now I could make one huge circuit board with a lot of wires connected to each LED, but I'm gonna solder them directly up to the LEDs themselves. This will take some time and of course try to avoid any short circuits. Alright, it's done. And as a base I just took a piece of scrap wood and drilled some holes in it. And now let's test it out. Now, I didn't make any housing for it yet, which I recommend to make that as well, because all those loose parts on the back of that wooden strip are very fragile. Keep in mind that we are running this from a computer audio output, which has compared to a phone or a microphone, a much bigger output. So if you have a too small amplitude that just doesn't reach the top of the VU meter, you need to increase these resistors, and if the signal is too big, just add a resistor to the ground. Well, that's it for this video, thanks for watching.